This is the Ethiopian community in Houston. Houston is home to one of the biggest African communities in the USA. And today is my first time trying Ethiopian food. I've heard that Ethiopian food is some of the best cuisine in the world and it's time for me to find out the truth. Is Ethiopian food the best in Africa? Let's find out. Blue Nile Restaurant. Chef. Chef Z. Welcome to Blue Nile Restaurant. Thank you so much. All right, this is Tina. Hey, Tina, how are you doing? Oh, amazing. How's right. everything? Welcome to Houston. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm excited. Yeah. We're gonna go straight in the kitchen? Yes. Let's, Let's go. go in the kitchen. Let's go. Today we're doing some injira. Is that how you say it? Injera? Injera. 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 Blue Nile Falls. That's what they're named after. First time eating Ethiopian food. I know. My first time eating Ethiopian food. I'm excited. I, I heard it's the best food in Africa. They say it's the best food. Yeah, we, got, we got a lot of flavor in our food. So you get to try it today. Perfect. Very nice. So we're going to get made next Over here, this is where we're going to make the bread. Oh, I like this. It almost looks like the little tawa. Now we're going to see how we make our injera. She's going to show okay. us how we make it. Perfect. And so let me ask you, what language do you speak? Uh, Amharic. 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 Wow. Yes. But I'm guessing there's a lot of languages in Ethiopia. Yes, a right? lot. There's one. Okay, perfect. I think you should try the last one. The last one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this? Yeah. Okay, so I, I think I, I saw how she did. She goes around the border, right? Yeah. Just relax on your hand, it's all, all the wrist. Let's take up. Yeah. Perfect. Keep going. Wow, it's a beautiful color. It's almost like a, really like a pink. Yeah. yeah. My first time. Yes, there we go. It's beautiful. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. Yes. Can't wait to eat this. Yeah, thank you, thank you. No problem. Wow, it's amazing. Look, it's like spongy. Yep. So, Yeah, go ahead. Close it. Perfect. Let's see this one open. Yeah. This is how she takes it off. Wow, it smells. It smells like wine or something in here. What is this? Yeah, because the yeast. The yeast. It's sour. It's sour. Wow, beautiful color. Yeah, it smells like fermenting. Yeah, fermenting. Yeah, exactly. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. It's like a fermentation? It's fermentation. The taste mm -hmm. that comes from the fermentation. And you see those eyes? Mm -hmm. It comes from the fermentation. If it's not fermented, you, you're not going to get that eye. Wow. If it's not, you don't have any eye, that means you don't know how to make it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Would it have a good injera? You mm -hmm. have to have these eyes. So it has to have all these little pockets. Yes, you gotta have those pockets. Yeah, so it's it's similar to like a crepe. Yeah. Crepe, dosa, yeah. I mean, there's, there's similarities uh, here. But there is yeah, a, a color soft. difference. Oh, wow. That's what we use to, to get the food? Yeah. And here we go. Wow, it's perfect. Give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Let me do it. All right, so like this. Yeah, slowly. The Burn your finger. Oh, they put like this oh you just like, slide it in? There we go. What a pro. Amazing. And so is everybody here from a different part of Ethiopia? Or yes. From, yeah. Different part of Ethiopia. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. And are you from the capital? Yes, or? I'm the capital. Uh, she's from the capital. Uh, the rest is kind of spread out in Ethiopia. Got it. Yeah. And, different and, states. And why are there so many Ethiopians in Houston? Because th there are. Like, there. I'm noticing this a lot. I think because of the first time when this Ethiopian company in here, they started to have Ethiopian soccer. Mm -hmm. So every year, July for a weekend, it happens in, started in Houston. Now it goes around every state every year. Oh, okay. So mostly when Ethiopia find out you live in Texas, everybody wants to come to Texas. But now they live in Washington, D.C. Yeah, I heard it. That's like the, the biggest population of Ethiopians yes. in America. Do you come? That's so, the restaurant over there. Luke, well. oh, you guys been there? Yeah. He's been, it's his favorite. Ooh, look at this. Wow. What is that? Yeah, okay. Chicken. This is uh, chicken legs. Chicken legs. Yeah. But what's the official name of this? Doro Wat. Doro Wat. Oh, it smells great in here. It's, it's like we call it barbarian. Yeah, barbarian. Yeah, right, barbarian. Yeah. And uh, the, 
the smell you smell is it's got uh, uh, ginger, garlic, cardamom, the black cardamom. Mm. It's all cooked together. My turn. You get the drums, chicken drumsticks. I, I've practiced before in India. Like I've done this. Man, this is heavy. Oh, but look at that, that gravy. That's just gonna be so good with the bread. And egg. Don't the egg. And the egg too? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make our sambusa. The sambusa? Yeah, we have uh, lentil sambusa and veggie sambusa. We're gonna try both of them today. Perfect. Okay. And sambusa, because in other languages, it's, it's, the, it's that. It's the same? It's the same. Okay. So this is the uh, sambusa. So she's gonna show us how to make the sambusa. Okay? Don't be shy, shy camera, but you... No, amiga, estás bien. Habla yeah. conmigo en español, yo hablo oh, español. Awesome, awesome. There you go, awesome. Okay, this is vegetarian sambusa. Vegetarian? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you go in the world, there's always meat pies available. Yes. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> It's so good. I didn't know. I didn't know Ethiopians have this. Yeah. It is a lamb. Mm -hmm. Do you like this special? Lamb, lamb, uh, yeah. cordero. This one is just a big cube. This is spicy sauce. This is the lamb. It's like a lamb curry. With bone. With bone. Yeah. Pero eso eso como un curry. Uh -huh. Wow. What's your name? Marta. Marta, thank you. You're awesome. Man, they look so nice and golden brown, man. And nice and crispy. This is going to be extra yummy. Umami. Woo! Nice and oily and crispy. Yeah, very, very crispy and tasty. Yes. All right, so it's going to drain out all the liquid, all the oil. We're going to garnish it on the plate. So from my understanding, this is like part of the Middle Eastern influence, yes. right? Like the sambosas. I think everybody has sambusa or samosa. Said samosa and panada. I mean, it's kind of the same, yeah. but the shell is different. Mm -hmm. But the feeling is kind of, kind of the same. Yeah, probably different spices. Yeah. You know, and very flaky crust on the Yeah, yeah, they look very flaky and they have a nice sauce over here too. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, the sizzling. It's like a lamb fajita, yeah. Ethiopian style. All I want to do is dive in. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this, this is Angira? Oh, this is on fire. Do you keep stirring? I mean, what's the time frame on this? Just slow cooking this, right? Is this what we'll see in Addis Ababa? Yeah, like you'll see this all over. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm dying to go and do Addis Ababa and some parts of the south, especially with the hyenas, where you feed the hyenas with your mouth. Wow. A few of my boys have done it. Oh, you're gonna put on some onions. I'm gonna do. This is the lamb. Smells amazing. It's me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The fire over there, dude. Are you, gonna, are you making it spicy for me? Wait. 
them off with another tomato. Wow. So she's putting in jira in there? Yeah, that's what we call it. I think Japanese. I don't know why that is. This is the last one. You know, and they like it too. And then we put inside Yara. Wow. That's great, man. Then we put in the place for this for customer. Our plate? Like yeah, this no, is a no, social, no, lamb yeah. social plate. Lamb social plate? Yes, sir. Is it yebekai what? Lamb, oh, so with spicy sauce. So this is a lamb dish, or this is, I guess they're lamb platter. So you have the angia bread on the bottom, then on top they added the three yeah, different... One yeah, yeah. Oh no, I think there's multiple lamb dishes, Yeah, no? whole lamb. Oh, all lamb, all lamb. There's chicken right there though. No, we don't have chicken. No chicken. All lamb. Yeah, all lamb, all lamb. Yeah, so four different lambs here on top of the bread, plus a salad. It looks amazing. What a dish. Sometimes uh, customer prefer the pende we put on the side. This is cabbage with mixed vegetable, carrot, and potato. I put on the side. This is all plate, the social. Uh, our plate now? Yes, yeah, so I'm bringing you plate. This is uh, our salad with Jalapeno vinaigrette. So is all the dishes here traditional? Yes, very traditional. So this is a raw beef dish yeah. you're making now. Kimpo. Yes. So she's adding a few different spices. That's you add whole pepper. Spice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this is the this is the sauce that goes over the raw beef? Yes. Got it, because you're not going to cook the beef here. You're going to have it here raw, add this on top, and that's it. This looks amazing. Like, you know, it's funny. I was full, like really full to the point where I couldn't eat anymore today. I'm in this kitchen and my appetite is opening up. I don't know if it's the heat. Mm, I would just eat it like that. Like, you look como así. Si nada. Como loco. Look at that meat. So she's mixing the raw meat with this, yeah, with this beautiful bad, sauce. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's an salsa. Yeah. So a mix of um, just different spices here, right? So mimato. The mimita, but it's so hot the spice. Mimita, uh -huh. salt, and pepper. That's what she added here. No, this is colorina. Oh, colorina too. Ethiopian Colorina. Chef, how do you colorina? Uh, black hard. Oh, black cardamom. Has it got colorina? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. So she, she nicknamed it. I know this is a language. It's yeah, yeah. So it's black cardamom. Yeah. But this is in your language. Colorina? Oh, yeah. I thought she converted it from Spanish. Like, no. colorina. Like, it's colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds like it. Spangly. Spangly, exactly. Oh, man. Look at this. He's putting the injures to separate. So I'm going to separate in what we got to Wow. It's like a beautiful platter. Yes. Dude, that raw beef though. No, it's really good. It's tasty. No, no, I, I love it. I yeah. love it. You're gonna love it. That's I know. Hard. And also, in our culture, we eat raw meat. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, people eat like sushi. Mm -hmm. We eat straight up raw. So the way, I know it's hard, but what, what happened was um, during World War II, mm -hmm. when Italians came in Ethiopia, and uh, when we were, we were fighting them, the only thing they see us, for, because of uh, the fires? Yeah. So when we cook, they would drop the bomb. Oh, so no cooking. So you have to just eat it raw. So wow. that way they don't see you. Oh my gosh. So that's how it started. When all these uh, so that's in World War II soldiers, era. when they come back home, they yeah. got, you know, they're already used to eating raw meat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So kind of pass on as a, you know, part of our culture, mm -hmm. the tradition now, so everybody's... You know, I don't think it's that bad. I've eaten like raw fish my whole life and then I had a lot of raw meat in Lebanon. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Just so obviously beware of a... The source here. Well, do the what? What do I want is uh, chicken stew, basically. So I'm gonna... So that, that's what we saw over there. 
And you threw an egg in there as well? Yeah. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm happy with you, bro. <laughs> I was going to say, whatever you say, I think it's going to be right. Just give me right, give me right. Yeah. How long have you been in Houston? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Awesome. And have you been a chef by trade your whole life? Yeah. Uh, Wait, how did you know? I've, no, I've been, I've been cooking about 15 years, but I've been a chef the past 12 years. You know what it looks like? It looks like an Indian dish, bro. Yeah. Because the gravy. Not even the gravy, the spice we use. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar to Indians. Woo. So, I'm going to put the water out here. Bro, the double watt in the middle. And then this one, red lento with the spice. This is a split with yellow lento. This is shiro. This is almost like veggie combo. This is all veggie dish. And it is cabbage. Vegetable mix one. The sambosa platter. Sambosa. Sambosa. What did I say? Sambosa. Yeah, I think you did. I said sambosa. Sambosa. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, guys, it is time to eat Ethiopian food for the first time in my life. So what I have for you is uh, honey wine. Honey wine. My man, you're too much. And what are you guys doing over here? Making coffee? Yes, we're going. Yeah, we're going to make coffee. So when you sit here, you, you're going to watch them making coffee. It's traditional way of making coffee. So right here, they're going to roast some coffee for us. And if you guys don't know, Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. That's where it all started. They have some of the best coffee on the planet. It's, a, it's less, it's not like a super dark roast. It's a little more like meat, Medium mild. Roast, yeah. right? And then we're going to start. How do we do this? Is, uh, is it, yeah, you can is just, Jesus yeah, drink from here? No. Yeah, we can't. Back we can. home, they just drink from this. From this? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. It's very good. That is so good. Sweet. It's kind of sweet. Mm hmm Not too strong. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's so very it's, good. Forget the palm wine. This is what we're talking about. Mead. Mm hmm Mmm. Mm. She brought us our food. All right. Let me put it on the plate for you. Mm hmm All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, wow. No, I didn't. Traditionally, we, we smell the coffee. Smell it? Oh, yeah. roasting it. Looks like small beans. Yeah, small, small beans. beans. I've seen something like that in the, in Saudi, like very small. Yeah. I'm sure they probably use our coffee. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, start in the base. <laughs> so first time trying this dish, how do I dive in? So the way you dive in, you just grab one in jar. Mm-hmm. So like one. that. Yeah. You just cut half the piece something like that yeah so you like whatever you want to start so you're building a mini sandwich here mini doubles yeah so like you exactly just, what you do i'm that. gonna tell you just okay. drop that that area and i'll grab it so you may kind of roll like that so and when you that. pick it up it's in there it's already in there yeah perfect so you just boom wow there you go that's perfect oh, beautiful bite sorry i'm grabbing the two just no, it's okay. You just go ahead. Mm. You just pop my cherry. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. So try to. I love, love the ginger. The lamb tips. It's freaking just, such yeah, a good just bite. Dig in. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is heaven. I thought it was hand, like to clean your hands, you know? <laughs> that's what it looked like. It's so funny that it looked like that. So that's what we do here. Just break it up and break eat. Up. Now you can try the doro. The doro. Doro what? Doro what? Yeah, let me grab another better piece here. So do you do it like this? Just like that? Yeah. Break off some piece. It's very spongy, this bread. Yes. And the bread is on the bottom. You can pick that also, up later. Yeah, you can pick up another and kind of. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That is amazing taste. So much flavor. 
little, a little sweet. Yeah, a little sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like cinnamon onion. in there? No, the cardamom, the ginger is cooked for hours. Wow. So like you can see even the onions mm -hmm. is dissolving becomes a sauce. It's amazing. The thickness it comes from the onion. Mm -hmm. Because we cook it for an hour and hours and it kind of melts. And you get that sweetness from the onion. It's like a sweet chicken gravy. It does remind me of Indian dishes, like oh. really, even the taste. Even the taste. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is like the sponge dosa right here. But yeah, you got the number. We got with the number. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, there are influence across, and you see yeah. that through the history, you know? Did you so see that we, we uh, trade spice? Of course. Yeah. Start from chickpeas. We call this shura. Mm. Nice and light. This is the cabbage dish. So cabbage, yeah, salad. Carrot, potatoes. Wow, super amazing taste. Yeah, that's my favorite. I kind of like that. Mmm. It was really good, yeah. It's delicious cabbage. This is like... And try to, uh, you know, split piece. So I'm getting two small pieces here. Let me yeah. get, can I get bigger. Right? You got plenty of jar. You guys made earlier. Yeah, forever in jar. Yeah. <laughs> So is the, is the bread of all Ethiopia. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to be right here. So I'm going to grab some of this. I want some of that cheese. So at this point, you could just mix. Yeah, I can mix. And try the lentils. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The problem is before I was getting two bigger bites with injury, and now I'm like getting tiny bites. It's good. My favorite of these three. Like I say, the raw meat, man. Raw meat's epic. And people are scared of this. Uh, you know, I get it. Yeah, but now our customers got to, kind of got used to it, mm -hmm. having raw beef. Mostly when they come, it's like medium rare or rare, just... A little bit like. Yeah. People who got used to rare steak, they can order it or some of them like medium. Got it. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. So you just eat it, man. Just eat it. Yeah, just eat it. Oh my gosh. The gravy is nice. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -mm, Got some bread around that. Mm hmm. So the egg right here. Yeah. Break that hard boiled egg. Yeah, it's kind of complimenting this with having the chicken and the egg all together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, some people have been telling me things about eating with hands, man. I love it. Especially when we're doing the traditional food, you know, because sometimes you're eating the wrong thing with your hands. <laughs> mm-hmm. Made in combo. Yeah. I love this gravy. <laughs> Another injury. Yeah, I could always chase it with the wine or water. Look at that. Beautiful, it says. Super spongy. It's almost like it's not done. Like the dough, it's still yeah, super doughy. It's spongy it's and soft, but it doesn't... Like, but it doesn't get like yeah. too hard either? It kind of holds the, mm -hmm. the sauce. No, it absorbs it, right? Yeah. It absorbs, especially the gravy, it's absorbing it all. So like you can see, it kind of holds it together. It doesn't break apart. Wow. We're going into food coma here, but we're enjoying it. This is really a special dish. Wow, everything together combination. You know what? I'm going to throw something else on top. Throw yeah. a little cheese on there like that. There you go. And then it's like. I can drink the gravy and get a spoon. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. I need a break. Hang on a sec. I've never seen this. So she keeps adding. Yeah. So it cooks more. We don't use filter. Okay. Yeah, so she let us sit about a minute or two. Okay, uh, we're gonna have uh, coffee and we use uh, dana dam. Uh, we'll change kind of flavor of the coffee and you guys can try with with them without it and see which one you guys like. Oh, yeah, he's running. Yeah, yeah, he's saw something about that. Yeah, he's running. He's running Africa. Like he's running all the corners. I know, no, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Africa. If you pay me, I'm not lying. No, yeah, no way. Bro. Yeah. Your, your feet, you fall into the wrong no, hole, bro. No. Step on the wrong bug. 
No, I know, I know. It's, it's, he discovered the border things. Crossing. The border crossing is yeah. crazy. And you go across different kind of people. You're crossing different kind of animals. <laughs> yeah, it's not like America can walk. Yeah. No, you run through the Serengeti. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can see bear and you can scream at him. You can, you know what I'm saying? Bear go away. In Africa, you can do anything. Ain't nobody. No, away. no. <laughs> They're not going away. No. no. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The dinosaur bone? Yeah, this is a uh, rib. It's a rib. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Got a huge rib right here. Yep. We have uh, this one over yeah. here. What's the name? Fit Fit. Fit Fit. Yeah. So this is a mix with the uh, injera yeah, bread. It's, it's almost beef broth with injera. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at this. It looks amazing. It's a combination. So that, that bread just yeah, soaks can... up that. This is lamb. Lamb stew. Basically. Lamb stew. With the bread. No, 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 it doesn't look spicy. It looks great. And do we use a fork or? Uh, injera. Same injera, same everything thing, also. everything injera. Yeah, everything Ooh, injera. almost lost this guy. Love it, injera, man. It's like this, and just go straight in? Yeah, just go straight in. <laughs> so hot. I'm gonna be hot, be careful. Mm. It's like a injera on top of injera that's been soaked. Mmm. Yeah. No, no, it's great, bro. I actually like this one a lot. They're not so spicy, nothing. I mean, it's super flavorful. It's jalapeno spicy. Yeah, yeah. Right there, lamb. So, same thing, right? Right this. Grab a piece of this. <gasps> like that. That's really good. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, this is actually my favorite. Umami to the max right here. That beef rib is bomb. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that was so good. That was, I had a huge bite though. That's the Ethiopian style dinosaur bone. Yep. Oh. Uh, I have one more. Oh my gosh. Very good. <laughs> I bite had like just clean flavor. Just the juices. The aroma coming out of this coffee smells beautiful. Yeah, it is. Very and so you're going to mix in that. So plant with it. You can do it there. With it and got it, got it. Bomb. Kawa. Kawa. It's amazing. True coffee lovers do not use sugar. Yes, we know. We are straight. <laughs> so, how do we do this? Yeah, we just go. It's nice. It's really, yeah. Tasty. Really you know when coffee is good when you don't have to add any cream or sugar and it's tasty. This yes. is great stuff. So now. Mm -hmm. Now what yeah. do we do? So I just don't you know, like the very strong. So I'm going to dip it one time and try it. Okay. So you're dipping this into the coffee. Yeah. It, it like. Man. You can actually taste it. Right away. Change, yeah, change all, change all change flavor. the aroma, yes. Mm. It's the first time I've added a plant into my mm -hmm. coffee. That's different. Cool it stuff. It is different. It completely kind of mm -hmm. changes it. No, it's like, it's it's almost like if I put it in, you would never know it's the same coffee. So for us, it's like, you know how people add uh, French vanilla mm -hmm. in the coffee? Cream, you know, for us is then I don't. You just put Can that in there for. I don't like to leave it because it becomes very strong. Yeah, yeah. The the flavor just like yeah. fuses through really, really easily. So because it's so hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Scorching. Hey, my man. Cheers. Cheers. Your food is amazing. That was a great experience. My first time yeah, trying it. Oh, amazing. Yeah, man. I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. Thank you for yeah, bringing me it. into the world of Ethiopian food. Oh, thank you so much. No, we appreciate this. This is glad great. Glad to have you here. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy my honey wine. Cheers. Cheers, cheers.
I call it traditional bottles. Yeah, very nice. So in uh, in Albania, they what they have and and like all that Balkan country, same same glass but tiny, and they put raki. Wow. So you're like, uh, yeah. like it's like too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you guys God for coming. You. We appreciate it. No, no problem. We enjoy you. Thank Blue you. now. Thank Amazing you. Ethiopian Thank food. Ethiopian you. restaurant. Come Thank and see you. us. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks. No, no, appreciate it. Now I go to bed. Okay. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you, thank, thank you. 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 When you come back. Oh, when I come back, I come here. Yes, I come here. Please. I come. Okay. I come. I promise you. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. That was some of the best food I've had. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. You're like, you're like, like mom, yeah. grandma, like yeah. everything okay. together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. Too much. Thank you. Let's go. My man, how you doing? What's going on, man? Everything good? Very, very yes, good. Sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to Bahel. So what are we doing here at Bahel? Uh, we're doing uh, some... First, we're going to do... We're going to try some food, mm -hmm. which is the traditional, like, veggie, veggie and uh, meat combination. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want you to try. Okay. And you're going to love it. So I want you to come. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's see how they make some injera bread. Hello, hello. Hola. Tiene pena? No, no tiene pena. They're, they're shy. Perfect. Hello, how are you? Very good. So what are you making there? Which one is this? It's a jerky. Beef jerky. Mixed with an egg there? Yeah. Looks really beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's bubbling. Is she from Ethiopia? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Amazing. Amazing. Nice to meet you. Oh, awesome. What's your name? Johanna. Johanna. Yes. So you're going to be cooking for us today? Yes. Great. I'm excited. It's going to be good. And what's over here? Some coffee it's ginger tea. tea. Oh, it's ginger tea. Yeah, it's a big chunk of ginger in there. Yeah. A semi lime and jiro right here. Whoa. Yeah. So the injera, very nice, soft bread, like spongy. Yeah. Yeah, I love the sour. plate. A little sour. It's like a, it's like yeah. a sourdough. Yeah. Sourdough flatbread. Wow, she's making a lot, huh? Yeah. We do it thousands, man. Thousands, thousands. So this is the dough here? Yes, yeah, so this is the batter. The batter. This is the batter. You know what's amazing? When you enter the injera area, you can smell the fermentation. Yes, that is. Smell it. The yeast. The yeast, yeah, yeah. Love, it's like a little, uh, what do you call this? It's like a tawa? Yeah, it's like a burner, whatever. Yeah, it's like a flat top. Yeah. No, sabe como hacerlo, no? Profesional. She's pro. Yeah, she is. Yeah, because you tried to make it the other day, David. It didn't go... Uh... No, I did it bad. <laughs> I did it. I did a bad job. I did a horrible <laughs> job, bro. It's hard to get used to it, but, you know, once you get used to it, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like making uh, Ethiopian crap. Yeah. Mi turno. Yo lo voy a hacer. Tú me dejas hacerlo. She's going to let me make one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Let me get in there, let me get in there, let me do it, let me do it. Buena suerte. Buena suerte, que dice este loco, este loco. All right, so I get it, this one? So you grab this, like that. Sour, man. All right, so it starts off like this, yeah? It's a little weak, that one. A little weak, a little weak. Need some more. Yes, yes. Perfect. Nice. Not, not the best, man. Not the best. Uh, no. I'm trying my best, but. First starter is good. First starter is good. First starter? First timer? Yeah. Second timer. Dude, I've made thousands of pancakes for my kids, but I can't get this one right. Yeah. yeah. I throw it in a towel. Yeah, it's Woo. It's Woo. Tricky, man. It's an art to that. No, I just added way too much batter in there, bro. I think yeah, too yeah, much. Oh, wow. So now this is what she does. She rolls them into these like little, dude, they, they almost look, when I see it, it looks like a wet towel. Yeah. And this is only found in Ethiopian culture. I've never seen this anywhere else. Yeah. So yeah. Ethiopian yeah. and Eritrea. Yeah. Everything we, we, we do, we eat and everything is pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. And I was learning about Ethiopians. You know, there was a war in 1945, World War II. The Italians invaded and then they left a lot of their soldiers. And you guys have really good pasta. Yes. Yeah. The people speak Italian. I have to go. Tiramisu. Tiramisu, yeah, tiramisu is like your dessert, right? That's amazing. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I knew, man. <laughs> I'm messing with, I'm messing with. Uh, yeah. 
What language do you speak, by the way? Uh, we speak Amharic. I speak Amharic. I'm from uh, Addis Ababa, so I speak more like Amharic. Uh, the rest of the language, I kind of understand, but... How many languages? Is it? I think there's like 50. 80-something. 80-something, oh wow. So there's lots of, lots of tribes in uh, Ethiopia. When I go to Ethiopia, I want to go south because I want to go where the where the tribe is with the big plate, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. very south. And also to the, see the hyenas, feeding the hyenas with your mouth, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. People yeah, do that. Everybody does it. Yeah. We actually have a picture over there. Oh, do you? I don't know if you see it. Like, we have a lot of pictures that uh, it shows a lot. That means, like, you know, like, the name of the, this place is Bahal. So we got everything. We make sure everything it tells the, the tradition. The you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what it means is Bahal means is tradition as well. Mm -hmm. So we we trying to show everything a little bit, you know, here and there. Perfect. Yeah. And in terms of food, we're gonna do uh, some meat. We're gonna do some veg. Yeah, we're gonna do some meat. It's your choice. To be honest, you can do whatever you think. Pasta. I, I pasta? No, no, no pasta. <laughs> but the veggie. Yep. The, the veggie, veggie style. And uh, we're gonna try some meat as well. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. She, she laughed at me. She's like, yeah. "You suck." Mira, voy a grabar un poco. Hondureña. Sí, la capital. Hay muchos hondureños acá en Houston o no? Mucho, bastante. Bastantes. Perfect, perfect. She's she's a Honduran. Sí. Se parece tortilla, ¿no? Tortilla, sí. Más o menos. Sí, pero sí es una tortilla. Michelle's from Honduras. She's great. She's from the capital. Y si tuviera tiza de capa, un día voy. It's a little dangerous for me right now, though. Otra, otra más. Otra más, vale, vale. So this is sambusa. This is their version of a meat pie. Wow. Huele bueno. Muy rico. All right. So we have to wait for it to be like all yeah, those little bubbles. Cool. Yeah. So guys, we have to wait for all those little bubbles to happen, and then we close it. Nope. If not, it'll be too doughy. It's still very doughy, though. It's it's great to absorb any of the gravies. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like yeast. It smells like a nice beer. Oh my gosh. You also have wine, right? You have yeah, wine? We do wine. I'm gonna, we're gonna try everything outside. I'm gonna try everything here. Whatever we have. But Ethiopians have wine. Wine, honey wine. And I saw in your market, I think, yeah, too. Yeah. So they have a mini market in the restaurant, which I think we should show you. And there you have like a mix of like just different ingredients. You have the, the, the beans, the coffee yeah. beans from Ethiopia, they're the inventor of coffees. Yeah, straight, straight from Ethiopia. Wow. Yeah, that's what we have. Let's do it. But the coffee. This is fish gulag. Fish? Fish gulag? Fish gulag? Yeah. Yeah. And so, where is your family from? Addis Ababa? Addis Ababa, yeah. Addis Ababa. Cool. Ethiopian Airlines still flies to Atlanta, I think, right? Yeah. Ooh, I mean, like, in the fire, guys. Yeah, it's hot. right there. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so fast. What's this one? This is in depth. This in depth. Is that so? It's meat. Yeah. Wow, it's like a beef fry. Yeah. This the oil that we use. Uh huh. It's a fat oil. Got it. That oil is pure fat. So what they do is they just throw in the beef, and then it's like frying so quick. Look at this. It reminds me of something I've seen in Kerala, India. The beef fry. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. How long does it stay there for? A while? Done. Done. Ready? That fast? It's a quick fry. Perfect. Man, guys, this beef, look at that. Beautiful. Dude, it looks crispy and like golden. Perfect for my mouth. My God. What are we doing over here? Some beef and some uh, onions. Yeah, this is our like, famous. This is the famous steps over here. Okay. And this is our restaurant. Wow, it looks we gonna call put it in this. Awazi. This is Awazi. Is that Awazi. palm oil? No. This is a uh, Burberry. Burberry. Yeah, Burberry. Yeah, this is my, I, I, I make it. This is my own recipe. Yeah. Who thought that I would learn how to be a chef in, in a Ethiopian kitchen? Ethiopian chef, yeah. Usually doesn't I'm an Ethiopian chef now, dude. Got you. Got <laughs> something about it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to have that coffee. Wait for it. Beautiful. Look at that gravy. Nice and rich. It's going to throw in this beef, by the way. It's going to throw it right there, beef. Woo.
I got her, I got her. Okay, okay. Yeah. She, you're... Yeah. I, this is a memory, you know? I want them to have for something. For sure, for sure. Yeah. No, it's a great memory. We're gonna, we're gonna do as much as we can. Yeah. De Guatemala? Yeah. Buenísimo. El lago Atitlán. No. De donde? De Santa Cruz de Quiche. Santa Cruz de Quiche, ni idea donde es eso. Ah. Yo fui a Shell, ¿ha? Shela? Chichi Castenango. Uh, tal vez una hora después de Chichi. Oh wow, so she's like more north, like sí. Mayan, Mayan land, beautiful sí. place. Chichi is muy bonito. Chichi is incredible. Sí. Chichi Castanango is like the Mayan culture. Oh, yeah. All you see is Mayan go. people, it's freaking go. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Buenísimo, gracias. All right, let's go get some wine. Uh, yeah. The traditional way. Yep. So right here in the corner of the restaurant, they're making traditional Ethiopian coffee. They are roasting it right here in front of us. Smells great. The coffee beans are a lot smaller than traditional coffee beans. Mm. Smells great. It smells so good. Yeah. Do we have any sprig of brew to put in that coffee? I don't know. Sprig of brew? Sprig of brew? <laughs> That's the name of that green herb. Oh, the, the green herb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The green herb. And you're from Ethiopia too? Yeah? From Addis Ababa? No. From where? From north. Oh, north. Oh, north. How's everything there now? Everything is good. Yeah. So how many languages do you speak? Uh, one, and the other one, like, I speak like half. Half? Well, you speak English, and then so it's like three. Uh, yeah, it's three. In terms of population, a lot of Ethiopians here in the city. Yeah. And is there a reason for that? Uh, to be honest, like, mo most Ethiopians live the, uh, like, DC area. Mm -hmm. But here, like, they, because I mean, no tax, the living is cost is Got easy, it. yeah. Got it. And a lot of people moving down here, which is we love, man. Of course, of course. Come. They gotta come, man. Right? They gotta come. So, we're gonna add in the coffee some cinnamon and some cardamom to give it some uh, sweetness without adding sugar, yeah. And you don't have to add sugar, no, no. If you add you sugar, it more stronger. If you add sugar, that means the coffee's bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't drink. That's why we don't go to Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Hey, tell us you're keeping friends. So right behind our table, we have her making some coffee. I'm sorry, what's your name? It's Lois. Lois? Lois. It's Lois. It's Lois. It's Lois. 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 Difficult name. Beautiful, though. I like it. And so she's roasting the coffee right there. She's going to add the cardamom, cinnamon, and then we're going to have a nice cup. We're also going to have some wine, some, uh, some honey wine. That's very uh, traditional there in um, Ethiopia. And I like this. So I'm guessing every Ethiopian restaurant has like a coffee section, right? Oh, there it is. Here it is. And this is honey wine. It's like a mead. So she's going to put this. It's about to come up. Mm -hmm. So when it come up. It's amazing how I can smell it already. I can smell that cinnamon pop out. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. So she goes around and lets everybody smell? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I feel like a high or something. Dude. Dude, it was like a coffee high. <laughs> no, the second it hit me, I was like, whoa. Like it's an aroma that I had never smelled before. Oh, really? If it's like that, like with the cinnamon inside, the roasted beans, wow, I can't wait to try it. And right here we have the honey wine. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to hold it. Okay, show me how to hold it. You hold it like this. Oh yeah. Okay. Like it, like that. Mm -hmm. Man, it's sweet, it's nice. You won't even notice. You have two or three of these, you're like, whoa. You know, when you, when you get up. When you get up? <laughs> like, oh, did I drink this much? That's what you're going to say. It's strong. In the end, it is strong. Yep, now we're going to get you the appetizer. Perfect. This is samosa. 
like uh, this is a, like appetizer mm -hmm. called appetizer and uh, just before the food come you, you just try a lot of places they use sambusa mm -hmm. like uh, India yeah the meat pie yeah mm -hmm. so, and so which one is meat and the we other we have one? beef and uh, meat uh, mostly this is uh, the Oh, wow, this is that. the veggie. So that's veggie. Called lettuce. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I haven't seen it like this. Look, like it, it's like all lentils in there. A lot of Beautiful. people prefer the veggie, the mm -hmm. all lentils. I don't know, this may be different, mm -hmm. but I, I prefer the meat all the time. Mm -hmm. How is it? Surprisingly yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First time trying it with this. I never had lentil pie. We make it different, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love the sauce. The sauce, right? Mm -hmm. It's a sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And over here we have the meat. This is the meat. That's the meat? Yeah. So right here. Woo! Hot. Yeah. Wow. Some pie. Raw meat, yeah. I have to try this. Yeah. I like that you pair it with this. You know, it's actually good, like the sweetness paired with the savory yeah. and the crunchy. Mm. That's a meat pie. So filling, mm -hmm. so full. Crispy, oily, satisfying. Mm -hmm. And definitely pair this with this because after that, we need something to cook. Exactly. Cool exactly. It's actually really amazing, this meat pie, bro. Wow. Yeah. This? You ready for fish? Yeah, ready for fish. You know, fasting time, a lot of people eat on fasting fish. You like nuked it. I'm a pro right now, you know? So we're gonna have some fish today. You came in the right time. Yeah, perfect. Yeah? <laughs> you open pasta. Yes? That's how we made it. <laughs> and the taste. Very good. You gotta try, man. You gotta try. <laughs> He's gonna feed me Ethiopian pasta. He's gonna bring you so. Yep. Mm. I'm telling you, man. Como Italia. Yo, you know what? It's like Italian bolognese, but at the same time, a little spice. Yeah. Mmm. It's fire. Yeah. Fire, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. This what is our is main this? dish now. What this a monster. All veg. All veg. All veg. Incredible. So like I say, you came on a fasting season. Mm -hmm. So this is what we have, and the, and the fish. Of course. So, tastes amazing. So the way I do this is I grab injera yeah, and then I dive injera. in. Yeah, we got two different uh, injera right here. Okay. So one of them is totally uh, gluten free. One of them has 5% uh, gluten. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people choose like gluten free people, uh, allergy or something. Mm -hmm. They choose the gluten free. But personally, I choose the 5% uh, gluten. Five because percent. it's not too much sour. Got it. Yeah. And over there we have a chicken. Dish. Yeah, that's the chicken. Dorawat. Dorawat. It's your favorite, right? Ah, it's one of them. Really pumped for this pure veg. So injera, we're just grabbing injera like this. Pull some off. You it looked like you've been eating before, to be honest. Oh man, for you sure. Do. Well, how should I start? So you should start if you wanna like you haven't eat all day. Mm -hmm. You start from here. It's like an appetizer as well, but mm -hmm. It's really like like soft and like cold. So it's so already we'll warm up. Yeah, will warm up your. So this stomach. right here is yeah. injera, but it's yeah. mixed with uh, something else. It's yeah. super soft and cold. Tomato, yeah, tomato. Uh, mm. Mm. This one as well. This not that not that spicy. Yeah, I was gonna say it's spicy. This one, this one not as spicy. Mm. Yep. Yes. That one's easier to eat. This one's hot for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one, what do I try? And this one, like, like so much. you don't get it, like 
any season we don't get this one this season we find this one that's a chickpea uh, i love the way you guys eat with your hands like this yeah oh you got it man you got it mm. Mm. i'm telling you you love the jew now he, he so, just dig he's dig yeah <laughs> let's go and again this is ramadan this is why we're eating like this yeah mm -hmm. this is a uh, a lot of people love this one too so you mix it it falls apart mm. lentils with the i'm telling you mm -hmm. the green beans green beans mm -hmm. you got the fossilia mm -hmm. to go hard it's fire I actually like this one, spicy one, mm -hmm. and it's common to eat with your hands with friends eating yeah. from the same bowl. Yep, you have to. As a matter of fact, when you eat, yeah, like just like I feed you earlier, mm -hmm. like then, like that that shows friendship. Mm -hmm. Like we call it gusha. Gusha. Yeah. Every time you eat, you gotta. You feed your friend. Yeah. You feed your friend. Yeah. That's great. Once, twice. So it's happened to me in other cultures that people were like mad about it. I was like, no man, but this is sort of how this works. This is how it works. Awesome. Yeah, tradition. Tradition. Yeah. It's sort of so fire. So right now in Idris Ababa, eh, this is how they're eating, yeah. correct? Yeah. Oh, what is this? That's a chickpea. Since you don't eat meats, right. you make it like that. As a, it's chickpea. Yeah. It's chickpea. Chickpea. Hmm. Yeah. The chickpea fritter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a little like marinade in there. Yeah. You have to get smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. And not fall apart on the way in. <laughs> it's four, four, five months. You don't get to eat. Uh, yes. No, somebody told me that. But you gotta be strict. Like Wednesday and Friday, you don't eat meats. Yeah, and uh, like this time, of, uh, this time of year, like uh, you don't, you don't, you don't get to eat like a uh, two month, sixty days, and uh, around Christmas you don't get to eat forty days. So, so the Orthodox and Ramadan coincide. Is that sort of how this works? This year, it's, it's crazy. This year, both both start the same day. Wow, that makes it beautiful. And like you know, like closeness and everything like makes it like more interesting. This sure. Year. Yeah. And we also have this dish over here. So this is the chicken. So we are trying a chicken dish, and this is one of the most famous ones. It's called the That's famous. Dora Watts. Dora Watts. Yeah. Grab some sauce, yeah. just like that. Man, it looks like so rich. You put it right here. Let me show you. Put it right here. Oh, you put it right there. This. So right. the sauce is gonna be on the jar. Okay. We'll do it like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. that. And then? And then you grab this guy. Ooh. You're the the you know, fast, man. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to do it, but the injera bread falls apart super easily. Yeah, yeah, easy. Hmm. The gravy is so umami. Mm. Extra delicious. You can have this alone. Let's get some of that. I love the flavors of this. You gotta make it right. Mm. You gotta make it. It is so tasty. You know, it's crazy. I was pretty full when I saw this dish, but then I started like looking at it and it just opened up my appetite. It's so delicious. I really like that that bread that's spicy, yeah. that like appetizer. It makes you more hungry. Mm, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Look at that beautiful. It's like a thick, beautiful gravy. Yeah. Put it right there. So this is just a gravy. Now we can get some more jira. And so this is how you eat at home, like uh, with family. Because I know in like Morocco, yeah. they'll get the couscous. And everybody eats from the same thing. You just eat in this, like one section. Yeah. Same. You just... When you eat, you gotta eat together. It's delicious. No, no, yeah. This is my second time trying Ethiopian food in my life. Okay. The, other, the other time was two days ago. No yeah. way. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Thing is, in Miami, we don't have it. Like, oh, yeah. in, like you said, in there's DC. One. Yeah, there's one, a Awash. Awash. Yeah. But uh, in DC, it's the biggest uh, Ethiopian community in America. Yeah. And there you can try, like, there's like many, many restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, in terms of Ethiopians here in uh, Houston, there's a lot, you told me, but do they keep coming now? Like, as, like, yeah. like people still can keep oh, immigrating yeah. over here? Yeah. Yeah. 
this is the busiest place um, like without exaggerating this is the busiest restaurant in town yeah yeah wow and i do see it i feel like a lot of these people are ethiopians yeah from what and I'm imagine seeing. a lot of people not to cut you off a, a lot of people fasting like we have a, like we have all customers like mm -hmm. muslims they eat after seven seven thirty uh, so they're not they're not even here and a lot of people when they fast especially fasting time they rather to eat at, at the house at, at, at their home mm -hmm. but even like this we're still busy so god bless you man. god bless man. god bless good for you guys appreciate it appreciate well i mean when the food is good the customers come it's good I didn't think I was gonna eat like this, but man, in the way I gotta eat. Mm -hmm. It's healthy, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So a mix of flavors here and textures too. Because you have a dal, then you have a chickpeas fritters. What else do we have in here? Uh, cabbage. You have the spinach. I think it's spinach, right? Or no, mm -hmm. collard greens. Collard greens. Collard greens. The potatoes in there as well. Then you also have a chicken, and if you want, they have fish as well. So it's nonstop. How many dishes do you have on your menu? A lot. A lot. In all traditional Ethiopian. Oh, oh. Only the pasta. Even the pasta, we made it. Yeah. In our own way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, oh, but, but it's been influenced, right? Exactly. So. Exactly. A lot of people order it, and they love it. They love wow. it. So you guys have been eating pasta for 70 years. Wow. And next door, they have Eritrea, and Eritrea speaks the Thai, you know? Yeah, like half of them they speak, they, they understand. Mm -hmm. But like mostly like we like we we blood, you know? Yeah, of we, course. We of course. just like yeah, we when 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 you say Ethiopian restaurant, like um, it doesn't mean like Ethiopian restaurant, it means like air training in Ethiopia. God. You know what I mean? Because like so food is we eat the same, yeah. We eat the same, we dress the same and everything. So oh, so I heard about this. They bring popcorn with the coffee. Yeah. Tradition. It's traditional. Wow. Yeah. So we're gonna pour the coffee. And smoke. Can I bring one more cup? Uh, yeah, one more cup is fine. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh man, it's cinnamon and cardamom. I needed this. I don't know if I need this at 5.30 in the afternoon, but... It's hmm? It's four It's delicious. Birthplace of coffee. Yeah. If you guys didn't know that, Ethiopia was the first place to start roasting coffee. Nice pour. So it has to have that. It has to like go through and like make these bubbles to actually get like that aroma taste. If not, it won't taste the same. Wow, this smells great. Thank you. Like, so guys, let me know in the comments. Should I go to Ethiopia? When? And uh, yeah, what should I do there? I already have a list of things I want to do. Certain tribes I want to see, uh, the capital, and then uh, I want to do the hyenas. It's a massive country, massive, massive. But I want to go to Eritrea. Eritrea looks beautiful. And the good thing is that I can get around. I speak the language. Somewhat. I mean, it's pretty awesome that in Africa, you have countries that have, they speak Italian or countries that speak Portuguese or countries that speak French. You know, it's beautiful. Whoa, this thing got like crazy. I'm gonna walk around the restaurant. Houston, like, have more family uh, city, you know? And that makes it like more home. And uh, like, it's, it's not too much. It's not too much going on. Mm -hmm. That way, like, you know, you just, you can focus and, you know, live, have an, and if you have a future to have a family as well, everything is big. It comes yeah. a lot of places. It's Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, we, more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My man, thank you man, so much. Thank not you. a problem, man. It's the best. It's a pleasure. 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 Thank you. That's our script, by the way. This Ethiopian script. Yeah. What's the name of the language? Amharic. 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 Yeah. Amharic. It's like Arabic, right? Amharic. Yeah. It looks very different. The script. Yeah. So a lot of little loops and stuff. And then over here, they have a mini market. So yeah. what do you sell in this market? Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. From back home, we sell. We sell it here. We so. Also, oh, like different spices yeah. too. And this is for injera. Injera. Yeah. Injera. 
This is old, old state diner. And this is for the for the injure? Yeah. Right here? It's, you eat it on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're eating. Yeah. But it, you have a top on it. Yeah. You cool. close it close when it. you when everybody's ready to eat. Just so give it up. Perfect. Some more spices. Oh, spices. We're over here looking at these coffee beans. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. Ethiopian in Yirga Shefa Buna. Mm -hmm. Smells great. Dude, amazing. So you have some pots. These are for the coffee. Yeah. Look at that. It's traditional style. So you bring all this from Ethiopia? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is from Ethiopia. Amazing. Even the chair, bro. Yeah. I think I need this in my, in my office. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> she's like, watch out. But I did design here. It looks yeah, we put it for sample, like. Mm -hmm. And then over here is like other things. You got like some yeah. pottery. It's very nice. Man, I really have to go to Ethiopia like right away. Told you. Uh, after this trip, I'm like, I'm sold. I'm going no matter <laughs> what, my man. That's what we do, man. Like I say, once you, you start coming by, you never go back. I never go back. He's like, he's like, once I go to Ethiopia, I'm never coming back to the States. Exactly. I got kids, so I have to come back. <laughs> Good luck. Well, man. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for this. We appreciate you. Appreciate it. Guys, definitely come to Bahel. So you say, it, right? Bahel. Bahel, yeah. Bahel. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Amazing Ethiopian food, delicious coffee, and yeah, man. Thank you again for everything. I'll Don't see you in. Amazing food. Yes, yes. Food. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know me? Oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. Got that. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. It is. We tried it the other day. We tried some raw beef. Yeah, I know. I know. But today's Ramadan. A little complicated, but it's fine. <laughs> hey, bro. Thank you. Thank right. you. Not a problem. Appreciate it. I'll see you All next time. Okay. It. All right. Likewise. Peace. Bye bye.